Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you marquee zoom in Reaper. So the marquee tool in Reaper allows us to draw a rectangular shape with a mouse or trackpad and select just those items within the rectangle. So I have a project set up here. And if we move the mouse up here and then right click drag to create a rectangle and let go, that'll select all the items within that rectangle. Do another one over here or over here to select all the items within it. And then we can copy them or cut them or delete them. Now, if we create one up here, we can add to it by adding in the shift key. So it's shift right drag. And that adds that to our selection. And we can keep on adding the same way by shift right dragging. And again, we can copy it or cut it or delete it. Now to see these behaviors, we go up here to the options menu and go down to preferences. Then we could scroll down to mouse modifiers under the context, arrange view, right drag. And we could see them both right here. But in this video, I want to focus on this one, marquee zoom, which works similar to marquee select except it's going to zoom based on the rectangle we create. And it's triggered with this modifier. On PC, it's Control Alt, and on Mac, it's Command Option, along with right drag. So if we hold on those modifiers and right drag, notice the cursor changes to a magnifying glass. And then it's going to create a marquee that'll zoom in to that size, like this. And we could do it multiple times to get closer and closer. And we could do it one track at a time or many tracks at a time. But always having the marquee rectangle expand to the size of our screen. Now to zoom back out is a different mouse modifier. If we go to a range view, Middle click. Right down here, we can restore the previous zoom level using this modifier. By default, it's Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, along with middle click. But I'm using a trackpad instead of a mouse, so I don't have a middle button. So instead, we could use a different mouse modifier. Let's go to the context media item. On the left click, in the unused section, we could add our own mouse modifier. I'm going to use Control, just click it and drag it down here, and choose Restore Previous Zoom. And now with our media items, if we left click while holding the modifier, it's going to go to the previous zoom level. Let's marquee zoom right here and here. Now, if we want to zoom out to the previous zoom level, just hold down the modifier and click the media item. And it goes back to the previous zoom each time we click it, like this. Make a marquee zoom to zoom in. Let's go in even closer, and we could zoom out with the modifier just by clicking the item. One level back per click. Now, if we don't want to click on media item, we can use a keyboard shortcut instead. Let's go to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter previous zoom. And there's an action right here that's going to restore the previous zoom level. And we can see by default, it's not assigned to any keyboard shortcut, but we can still add one manually. I'm going to use the Z key. But of course, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. So now we can create 
a marquee zoom to zoom in as many levels as we want and use that keyboard shortcut to zoom out one step at a time. So we can marquee zoom like this to get really close to our waveforms and zoom back out using the keyboard shortcut. Now we don't have to use right drag for marquee zoom. It shows up in a couple of other contexts. Let's switch it to media item and left drag. And we have all these unused options, although we can go over these other ones if we're not using them. I'm going to use control, click it, and drag it down and choose marquee zoom. And now with this modifier and left drag, we can marquee zoom the same way. And go to the previous zoom with our keyboard shortcut. And it also shows up in the track context. Also left drag with also a bunch of unused modifiers, or we can replace the ones we don't use. Again, I'm going to use control and choose marquee zoom. So if I hold on the modifier and left drag, we can marquee zoom in the track context, which is not in the item over here, but just above it in the track. Notice the magnifying glass showing up above the item. And now we can marquee zoom like this, just above the item. And we could zoom in as close as we want. And then zoom out. But again, with this context, we have to be above or below the item. But not if we use media item or the arrange context with right click drag. And we could zoom out very easily. It's just a very fast and useful way to zoom into our project and make adjustments and zoom out to the exact same zoom level. So that's pretty much it. That's Marquee Zoom in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!